welcome all of you to my channel competitive exam warriors today in this particular lesson i'll be going to discuss with all of you regarding july current affairs part one hope you will like this lesson as usual you like my previous lessons so let's move forward today we will be discussing with you regarding july current affairs and this will be part one that will be presented by educator shovik maitra so let's move forward and this is my achievement section if you have got free time you can have a look at all these things otherwise you can skip this but before moving forward don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated to my latest notifications regarding my new videos and this is my uh, telegram channel that is competitive exam warriors if you want to get hold of pdf of this particular lesson then don't forget to join my telegram channel and you'll be getting all the pdfs of all the videos i have done so far and also of the new videos also that will be launching soon and this is my target audience and apart from all this if you want to subscribe to an academy's plus option courses you can definitely use my code that is plus r4sv then you'll be getting flat 10 percent off on any unacademy plus option courses and if you want action discount that too you can achieve using unacademy learning credits now let's move forward but maximum 20 percent discount you can get and not more than that first news which you can see over here which is just flashing on a mobile screen and if you're watching your laptop, laptop screen definitely it's regarding obituary section legendary comedian carl renner passed away so the things you must remember in this regard like Carl Renner was a famous comedian, his profession was a comedian and he was apart from this a prolific writer, comedian, director and actor. He had run as a movie director with such films that's important. Oh God 1970 you can take a note of all these things. The Jerk 1979 he won several Emmys award in writing and producing. Now let's move forward come to next news and this is a state based news regarding Karnataka and it's definitely important. Karnataka government launches portal Skill Connect Forum. So Karnataka government has launched a portal called Skill Connect Forum. The portal seeks to connect job seekers with employers as a common platform. It also provides job seekers information on available jobs. Hence the portal will bridge the gap between job seekers and employers. So it's definitely good. That is, it will bridge the gap. The it is will minimize the gap between job seekers and the employers. The employers that will be providing jobs and the job seekers will be getting of the particular jobs. Any individual can register on the Skill Connect Forum portal by uploading their details such as qualifications, skill sets and other details. In the same manner, employers will also register on the portal which will match the requirement and availability. If a person is unemployed, he will import the skill and then enable to get a job. That's really very much important and really very much nice, I must say. Static based news like um, Chief Minister of Karnataka, B.S. Yadurupa and Governor is Fajubai Wala. Regarding uh, this uh, chief minister and governor I made lesson, you can watch out for it. Uh, if possible, I'll be giving its link in the description box. Uh, now let's uh, move forward. Like um, it's important day, like 1st July is being celebrated as National Postal Workers Day. So National Postal Worker Day is observed on 1st of July every year. This day, why celebrated is celebrated on the recognition of postal workers across the world. National Postal Workers Day is a unique way to say thank you to the postman to the peons who deliver important uh, what to say letters to you which you must be waiting for and all day really personal. In fact, we must include the courier guys also over here as online shopping has become a lifeline for many of us. In India, amid the COVID-19 pandemic, really they gave a wonderful service during this time of COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, during the lockdown also. Postal services have uniquely diversified workers in postal departments have become the new corona warriors, definitely COVID-19 warriors, playing an active role in India's fight against COVID-19. Director General of India Post is Arundhati Ghosh. I must move forward and coming to another important news that is regarding HDFC Bank has launched e Kishana Dhan app for farmers. So HDFC Bank has launched the e Kishana Dhani app, Dhan app for farmers all over India, pan-India basis. Through their mobile phones, the farmers will now be able to access the services, both banking as well as agriculture too. Now, we must know something regarding e Kishanthan. e Kishanthan will provide value-added services like Monday prices, latest farming news, weather forecast is quite important. In fact, you must have heard this news that in Bihar, I think around 8 to 3 died due to lightning. So, these things can, provide, can be prevented over here. Information on seed varieties, SMS advisory, e Pashuhat, Kishan TV, and more. 
Users can also avail multiple banking services like procuring of loans that would be required Kishan loans, the opening of bank accounts, availing insurance facilities, calculate KCC, the Kishan credit card, loan eligibility online, and acquiring common social security schemes at their fingertips. The app will also help with traditional banking services such as apply for loans, fixed deposit and FDs, type of deposits I also will discuss with you soon like this uh, fixed deposits, second deposits and savings accounts. Headquarter of East Coast Bank is in Mumbai, Maharashtra and MD, this manager director East Coast Bank is Aditya Puri. Let's move forward, let's discuss two more important news like IIT Gadi Nagar develops AI based tool to detect COVID 19. Really important news over here. So, Indian Institute of Technology Gandhi Nagar IIT GN has developed an artificial intelligence AI based deep learning tool for detection of COVID 19 from chase text images. That's really incredible. This online tool indicates the probability of a person to be infected with COVID 19, which can be used for quick preliminary diagnosis before the medical test. So, you can be rest assured that if it comes negative, you don't have. COVID-19 but if it somehow shows some spots and all then you can go for artificial test which will confirm that you have got corona or not. The format of any test image of a new person will be automatically transformed diagnosed. Using the AI tool it will also validate input images before giving a result. The result is available within a few seconds so it's time efficient also. IIT Gandhinagar director is Sudhir Jain. Fitch cuts India's GDP growth forecast to 8% from 9.5% for Finch 22, so 1.5% growth cut over here. So, Fitch cuts India's GDP growth forecast to 8% from 9.5% for Finch 22 in its June update of Global Economic Outlook report. Fitch retains its projection of Indian economy contracting by 5% in the current fiscal. Meanwhile, so there is no growth, in fact, India will contract. Okay. Meanwhile, Fitch projected the Indian economy to grow 8.5% in 2020 23. Now let's move forward coming to international based news Tiga New Zealand. New Zealand cancels the Apex Summit 2021. Although we have heard that New Zealand is corona free but recently some few cases, fresh cases have been reported that's why maybe this thing's announcement. So New Zealand has cancelled the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Apex Summit 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This summit to be held in Auckland that's New Zealand is a venue it's important you must take a note of these things. The 2019 leaders meeting was cancelled by Chile, Chile's capital is Santiago. These things you must remember, Chile's currency is peso. In fact, uh, country capital currency I have discussed in details, the description I will also give in the, sorry, that link I will also give in the description box. So, due to violent anti government protests and the virtual APEC meeting of 2020 is being hosted by Malaysia. Malaysia's capital currency, if you know, please leave it in the comment section. Okay. So, Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand, Winston Peters announced that for planning and security reasons, the 2021 APEC summit is cancelled and the summit will be hosted as a virtual event. New Zealand has closed the borders of every nation except for the returning officers and sorry, returning citizens and residents. Static news like executive director of APEC is Dr. Rebecca Fatima Sata Maria, headquarter of APEC is Singapore, and establishment date of APEC is in 1989. So let's move forward and come to next news. Karnam Sekar retires as Managing Director and CEO of Indian Overseas Bank. So, the Managing Director, MD and Chief Executive Officer of Indian Overseas Bank, Karnam Sekar has retired on 30th June 2020. He joined the State Bank of India SPI as Provision Officer in December 1983. So, Sekar joined IOB as an Indian Officer Special Duty and a Director on 1st of April 2019 after the merger of Dina Bank and Vijay Bank with Bank of Baroda. They have been merged into Bank of Baroda. He was promoted as MD and CEO succeeding Subramanian Kumar on 1st of July 2019. Now, Indian Overseas Bank headquarters is in Tamil Nadu, Chennai and IOB founded on 10th of February 1937. Now, let's come to the next news. So, this is going to IIT Kanpur. Most of all, this will be last news of today's lesson. IIT Kanpur develops teaching setup mobile master G. So, IIT Kanpur has developed a classroom to home testing setup, teaching setup, classroom to home teaching setup mobile master G. It will be very helpful for students who especially live in rural India. This setup can record the lectures or instructions by the teachers while using their available smartphones. Now, let's know something about this app that is Mobile Master G. The setup can capture the videos of classroom action many portions, so that's really good. The product is lightweight and has adjustments to fit sheets and book on it for delivering instructions to the kids. Especially, we are looking forward to the rural India, rural the people residing in rural India. A set graduated scale aligns the sheet at the reside angle followed by the rotational quick adjustment of the mobile holder.
so let's move forward and as i already said that was the last lesson so last slide so coming to end of this particular lesson if you happen to like my lesson don't forget to give it a thumbs up share this with your friends as much as possible and if you got any time any free time please uh, don't forget to hesitate to write in the comment section if you got any 